How you guys doing? I'm uh, just chilling here, putting on a, a cucumber mask. I'm about to watch the Nexium uh, season two documentary on HBO Max. Um, yeah, till next time, baby. Yeah, my animal, baby, and that's all I got the same. I'm going necklace jewelry. Don't take me to the church. Uh. Look at all those uh, post office keys. Steepy here. So I haven't been to uh, my P.O. box in a minute. And uh, check out the keys to the kingdom. I just want to thank you all for uh, sending stuff to Steepy's P.O. box. And let's open one of these up and see what's going on here, you know. 88, so this is how it works. These are all numbered. This is 88. No, that's, yeah, this is 88. Sorry. Yeah, there's one in here. Actually, two. Cool. So that's how it works. I just want to thank y'all. Because the P.O. box is still active. I got goosebumps because, as y'all know, that I... I'm obsessed with 333, and guess what, 333, and 333. There might be some tarot cards in here, folks. Oh, and there are. Yep, I feel them, they're in there. Thanks for uh, supporting the P.O. Box still. Love y'all. Stevie here, so I'm at the Chevrolet dealership um, in Culver City. Um, and I'm about to do a test drive on a vehicle, um, a Fiat. Um, and uh, yeah, so I just wanted to take you on the journey and let's uh, see what's happening here. Okay, and so I'm gonna just keep this low here. Danny, I'm just gonna keep you off camera. I'm with my friend Danny, so say hi Danny. Hey, hey, hey. Um, Danny's here uh, to help me negotiate. And uh, as you can see, there's a, a good uh, amount of cars there. And uh, so we're looking for Crystal. <clears throat> Hi, I'm looking for Crystal. Uh, your name is Al Al yes, sir. Alex. Okay, so Alexander's going to help. Uh, we're going to test drive this vehicle. And do you know much about this vehicle? And it's a good. It seems like a good deal. You said it's it's smaller. Yeah, I don't know a ton about the uh, yeah the Fiat. No. Yeah. Is that a, is that available? Is that a Chevy Spark? Oh, okay, okay. Because I yeah, because I'm, I'm I have my eye out for a Chevy Spark as well. Yeah. So how long have you been working here? Five days. Oh, five days. So you're 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 brand spanking new. Okay, I appreciate you, uh, you helping me out today. Of course. Um, oh, I see it. It's right there, huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, this is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. It look, it's like a Tic Tac. <laughs> I love it, though. What? I did. I sat and I drove So your, your, your size is bigger than this whole car? Yeah. So how how are we gonna do this? Gonna try. I mean, uh, I could probably take you guys license, and then you guys just take the test drive. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, this thing is. I mean, I could try to get the <laughs> This thing is dinky, but it's such a good deal. So this is the Fiat 2016-17, under 30,000 miles. I'll sit in the back. So this is the bigger version. And what's the MSRP on this? Uh, MSRP $15,995. 15. So this is a little bit more, but it's obviously bigger and it's not electric. Yes, sir. Um, Danny, yeah. what do you think about this one? That's four door. Yeah. 
Um, so me and Danny, we took uh, Danny when you we asked me how I liked the uh, Fiat. How do you like the Fiat? Um, I, I liked it. Uh, the original one was electric, and I didn't realize it was electric. But the other one, the upgraded version, is a lot more. Um, there's a lot more space, and it's uh, um, it drives well. And um, I like uh, the I guess the um, what do you call it? the handling? The handling of it, yeah, like the handling of it, and it's got more power than you would think in a car like that. But you're saying that um, it is discontinued those Fiats, and you said it was an Italian company. Fiat or is it yeah, French? It's, it's, yeah. And so, um, can you tell us a little bit about this this model? And do you know much about the cruise? You don't. Okay. So this is your. I mean, but but you. This is your first first week, right? So you're just yeah, getting your feet wet. Yeah. Yes, sir. How are you liking it so far? It's good. There's yeah. Adjustments that need to be made, but. Um. Now. So this is this is the MSRP right here. 16. Uh, so this must be a different card. Because yeah, because I was looking more. Uh, I was. Yeah, this is a little bit. Uh, I, thought, I thought this one was listed a little. Bit yeah. So the other one was. You, you mentioned it was a different price, right? Yeah. 2017 LS. Mm -hmm. You you missed the egg, don't you want? What, what? You missed the egg, though, don't you? The so the egg one, the original one was. Um, it was electric and it was the size of a Tic Tac. So I'm not down for that. And you guys mentioned like, yeah, well you could charge it over like there's nowhere to charge it, dude. I like I live in the slums here. Yeah, I mean I can I live in the Hollywood slums here. Yeah, I can talk what was about that? the price when we go inside because on, on our website it does show thirteen nine ninety five. It does show thirteen. Yeah. Okay, so, so just, should we Yeah, I mean I'll, I'll talk with when we get in there. Yeah, you'll you'll do that? If it's something you're interested in, yeah, we can definitely chat about it. Okay, cool. Oh, that sounds really cool. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay, so um, yeah, let's go take it for a spin. Uh, I am I am small, so let's see here. Yeah, and I'm big, so if you can scoot up, yeah, if you want to scoot up. Is the adjuster like? It's not underneath. It's underneath so, the seat. Okay, okay gotcha. I appreciate your time today. Oh, you can stop vlogging. Then we'll we'll, we'll we'll get back to you. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm at the Chevrolet dealership and. I just decided to go with um, just something really plain and simple, the Audi. So, um, yeah, I'm just glad it's just, I haven't purchased a car since 2003, and, uh, you know, I, something that's really practical, I thought that, you know, I'd just go with the Audi, because, take a look, um, it's, it's really plain, um, these things just come with the as well. So, yeah, so thanks for, thanks for joining me on my adventure. And my car search, and uh, yeah, it just yeah. You you might see him on the freeway. You might see me, uh, yeah. You might see me soon. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go grab the keys right now. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I love y'all. Subscribe we'll, today. We'll be on the PCH coast, up <laughs> in the, uh, up oh, by San Francisco. Hills, so. Thanks, yeah. guys. Uh, so you're gonna ask me the overall experience? Yeah. How was? How okay. Was it? So initially, the car that I was wanted to get is the Fiat 500, but I didn't realize it was electric, right? <laughs> that was the obvious thing. That was my stupidity. Um, and not only that, it was the size of a, a Tic Tac. <laughs> you know, like I said, it was so small. And if I got hit by a pebble, it would have rolled over. I, so, so what we did, what me and Danny did, was we noticed another upgraded Fiat, uh, right? Yeah, the four whatever, door. The four door. And we took that for a spin, a test drive. And uh, what would you think about that? It's better than I expected. It was better than that's what I'll say. yeah. Um, it's five hundred X, I think it yeah, was. Yeah, there's about twenty something thousand miles on that. Um, but uh, but you brought up a good point. You 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 mentioned that the Fiats are they no longer make those things anymore. Discontinued. Right? Discontinued. They stopped making them. They stopped well, make, they're gonna make. Well, no, well, they might gonna, in the future, right? No, they're making the electric ones only. Only electric. Only electric. So yeah. I go, is there any other cars around that price range? And we're on the Frugal Brother, you know, price range spectrum, right? You know, I yeah. Said, he goes, what are you looking at? I said, 10 to 15, right? He goes, well, we do have a Ford Focus. So even the Ford Focus was what? Electric. electric. So there's one other option. And you know what was weird? They happened to be driving that. I think what he did, right? And this was smart on Alexander, the sales guys, his, his angle. I think he was texting him while we're still in the Fiat because the, the 
the Latino man happened to just be rolling in uh, at the car that we were next going to ask about. Yeah. The timing was impeccable. Right. So we took that for a spin, and that was the one I, we took that for, you know, a test drive, the cruise, a white cruise, right. Chevy cruise, and I liked it because it reminded me of a Toyota Corolla or a Camry, and it was more spacious, and right. you even mentioned that you enjoyed getting that car when you go to car rental places right? right so i'm like oh yeah and it felt good i felt like it was more you know durable you know easy to drive it handled well but this is the thing i'm glad i looked down near the odometer because we saw a yellow service uh flat thing right yeah service and engine so the service engine thing and so he's oh there, there he is right now oh he looks bummed he didn't get the sale today yeah, should I I zoom up on him? yeah he looked down oh yeah, he looked a little depressed sorry okay. man and then I'll get to why he could have had a sale, but um, it says right here. So that light was the engine control module, right? Pass failed, pass failed, and and that's that's that was a red flag, right? But then when he went to, because they tried to get me to buy it right then and there. You were there, right? Well, no, you yeah. took a shit. <laughs> No, we and didn't. I just took a shit. No, we both took shits. No, in there. no, we didn't. Well, whatever. Well, we were in the bathroom. <laughs> we were in the bathroom. You came back while you were in the bathroom. He was pressuring me. He oh, was like, yeah. I didn't tell you. I was trying to tell you in the the dealership. I did. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. No, he goes. He he kind of like walk. You know, because he was a big guy. <laughs> he kind of walked. He's a little he imposing. Leaned down on me. He leaned down on me, and he was more like, "How much are you willing to put down today?" I go, well, oh. can you, because the, 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 the price of that was 16 something, right? Yeah. He goes, well, no, the one on the website's 13,995, right? Yeah, right. And I go, well, before he gave me this paperwork, he was like, well, well, hypothetically, how much are you willing to put down? I go, well, I, I have to know the price of the car, Alexander, you know? And he goes, okay. And so you had come out and I tried to tell you that, but then he walked in. So basically the second problem is the engine control module, right? Yeah, right. And so so there's two things wrong with this car, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, Alexander. He looked at us just now. Sorry, you could have had a sale, but there's two, you know, I didn't feel good about it. So all in all, it was a pretty cool experience. I mean, at least I got my feet wet going to car dealerships, but I, I didn't want to feel, I didn't want to uh, commit today. Uh, on any vehicle, uh, especially if there's two things wrong with it, right? Yeah. Right. Okay, so, and I guess that's our overall experience, but I ended up ultimately getting uh, my dream car, which was that blue um, Audi. So thanks for tuning in. <laughs> yeah. Is it recording? What was your dream? Is it recording? Yeah. Okay, so um, I was, you know, like at the bottom of um, a lot of these apartment complexes in the basement. There's like a utility room or something like that or a laundry room. I was, um, I, I was friends with like two Chinese homies and they, they literally um, turned the utility room and like the laundry room into their apartment. And um, and then it was like spread out to like where they even like put a couch down there. And then I went to it was almost like they were like um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And they were like, hey, you know, it's good. How'd you know we're down here? Thanks for visiting. And then they go, you won't even believe our view, homie, or something like that. And I go, what do you mean? And they had this other secret room in there. And um. It was literally the ocean. So when I opened up the door, it was the water was literally a foot away from that. And then um, I go, how the hell did you guys find this place? And they go, oh, you won't even believe it. And there was, uh, you know, like those sea lions? Mm -hmm. A sea lion tried to come through the door was like oh, 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 oh. and then I go oh my god and I close the door oh my god <laughs> good morning good morning <laughs>